Marcus Aldridge, the former number two pick out of Texas, standing tall in the middle at 6'11". Adds Durant in at the four spot. And for Los Angeles, Steph Curry's out there with Caldwell Pope. And manning the middle, a champion in his lone season at Kentucky. In the 2012 number one pick overall, shot blocker extraordinaire Anthony Davis. And it's LeBron James, and it's Andre de Kumbo in at the four spot. Good. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Irving with the ball. Lakers still pursuing another title, but uh, it would be a real shock if that were to come this year. A lot of age and injury on this team. They lose Dwight Howard. Uh, this is a club that just doesn't have enough athleticism and speed to contend for a title. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Now Durant. Well, back to the Lakers. Clark, you think they're too old? Is this a team that needs to rebuild? I'm not yet, Kevin. The saying is young doesn't win in the NBA. I think for them, health and chemistry are the most important factors. Also, I think this is a franchise that has shown it can make a home run deal like acquiring Paul Gasol in 2007. Got two titles out of that move. I think they'll look to add some youth through their bench and restructure the personnel a bit, and they'll position themselves for another run for him. Just three to shoot. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. A chance at a two for one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two for one. Irving against Curry. A nice shot by Irving. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Now, here's Curry. LeBron James on the wing. From outside, off the mark. Here comes James Harden. Feeds it to Durant. Right side, Durant. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. First one falls for him. And Brooklyn making a change here. Good on both. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. Got it up. The shot is off. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, Clark and Steve, what do you guys think about what they have or haven't been doing? Yeah, a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. LeBron with it. You know, we talked about the Nets' deliberate pace of play earlier. One of the benefits of playing a slower game is that they rarely were in foul trouble. When you build a team around stars as they have, you want to make sure that they're on the court as much as possible. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, guys, the Brooklyn Nets going all in this season. With a team payroll of about $100 million, they have an additional luxury tax bill of around $75 million. Guys, the owner sparing no expense in constructing this roster. But no question, a high burden of expectation for what they'll achieve. It's championship or bust. No doubt about that. Thank you, Doris. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. And as you said about the Nets, Clark, last season, very careful not to get in foul trouble. Very important to a team that depends so heavily on their stars. Steve DeLog, big minutes and provide the score. And a large part of it is that they just play at a slower pace. But, you know, this team just knows how to win the war of the whistles. Not only did they avoid fouls, but they have guys who know how to draw contact in the lane get to the line and, and put the other team in foul trouble. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. they got to get more intense. Outside Gasol. Here's Piatkowski. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Brooklyn leading by seven. 
Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Irving drives in. Good on the 13 footer. Los Angeles has gone 0 2 from deep here in the second. Here's LaRusso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He feeds it to Morris. To halt the run. And Mike Brown. Then they decided to go in a new direction. And, uh, boy, they went through three different head coaches before all was said and done. They never really were able uh, to gain that consistency they were looking for. Count that one. Harden's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Nets. Well, Kevin, he's got such a great focus as a shooter. I mean, he's a very frustrating player to guard because uh, unless you actually block his shot, you are not going to get in his head and affect him. And Steve, you know, his ability to come in and rattle off 10, 20 points in no time flat, that's a gift and a real asset for any team. Some guys need a while to get going, not him. Curry can't get it to go. And back to the Lakers' struggles last season. What do you think, Clark, were the main problems that, you know, held them back from being the kind of title contender that they thought they were and, and a lot of people imagined they were? Well, how much time do I have? <laughs> Three or four shot clocks worth? I mean, I think there were a number of issues, as you might expect. Injuries played a significant role, but I think there was discord over how they should play. Really no true identity. They were a big team trying to be small. A team without a number of shooters trying to spread the floor. An older team trying to go up tempo. Coaching change. Coaching and that change, right, yes. You had a lot of moving parts. And it made it very difficult for everybody, I think. And it showed in how the Lakers' season went. That's a good assessment. We've got 33 seconds left here in the third quarter. LeBron kicks to Davis. Leads him in there. No good for Manda Tukumbo. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scotch. Irving against LeBron. And the jump by Eldridge. A surreal alley-oop that time, partner. The pass, Clark, catch the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Man, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. One second left. Nope. Scoring breakdown for the Nets. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. They've been turning those turnovers into points. Curry attacking. Checked in for Brooklyn. So it's the Lakers now. 15 point game. On its way from Curry for two. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Curry's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Lakers. Now Brown. Irving with it. Let's it go with a three. Count the bucket. Mm. They are not letting up, guys. They just keep coming at them. And I'd say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. LeBron dishes to Curry. One sixteen left in the fourth quarter. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Kevin Durant's checked in for Brooklyn. Harden comes in for Brown. One twelve left in the fourth quarter. Brooklyn leading by 14. Throws it up high, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. And uh, 101 left in the fourth. LeBron up top. And there's the pass to Andre DeCumbo. You know, nobody responds to end-of-game pressure like this guy. That's what comes to mind immediately for me. 
He's hit some monumental shots in his career, and uh, some guys just embrace the moment at the end of the game. That's him. You know, one of his other qualities, Steve, is how quickly he starts to break. I mean, he doesn't need numbers either. He can be a coast-to-coast, -coast, rack to rack guy all by himself. And that one misses. An up and down season for the Nets last year, and the playoffs were just more of the same. They ended up getting knocked out by the Bulls in the only first round matchup that went to seven games. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now Blake Griffin. He's checked in for Harris. Brown comes in for James Harden. And it's Johnson in for Kyrie Irving. He hits the second from the line. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Durant, the pass to Johnson. Brown. There's 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Outside Durant. Four on the clock. Releases. Again, the Nets for two. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Caruso, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. You know, if this had come earlier, they might have been able to get back into it. Yeah, but as it is, too little, too late. Free throw no good for LaRusso. Griffin with it. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Pass to Brown. Back to Johnson. And so it's